Okay, this is the Jay Bates workbench uh, that he built on Jay's Custom Creations on YouTube. Built it pretty much exactly like he did. Um, and I don't know if he, I know he doesn't document all his problems, but um, I had quite a few. Namely, uh, like him, I used uh, two by tens. And uh, I got nice and straight ones. And um, when I ripped them in half, they became pretzels. Uh, so what I expected was going to be about a four inch thick uh, top. Ended up being about three and a half inches uh, by the time I got it leveled. And I had to uh, use a uh, router sled to uh, level it on uh, both sides. Um, but because of the um, warping, I've got a couple of places where I just absolutely couldn't close those gaps no matter how much uh, clamping I put on it. Um, it's closed on the other side, uh, so I'm not worried about it necessarily splitting, but I am going to... Um, Fill that with epoxy and uh, also some of the small little gaps in the uh, mortise and tenons um, that I did for the uh, legs. Uh, the legs are three, three laminated pieces thick, so they're around four and a half square. Uh, the stretchers are two laminated pieces so it's pretty beefy half lap joints on all the stretchers um, mortise and tenon there uh, so now I'll show you the vices so this is a leg vise and I recycled an old tail vise that I hated because it racked real bad and um, this does not have a bottom um, guide on it because uh, they're expensive and complicated and you have to all adjust them all the time. And uh, so anyway, if you can see, I have a, a wedge-shaped groove in the bottom and, and then I've got a wedge on the floor. So when I tighten something in here, I'm going to work on it. Once it gets tight, then I just take this wedge and kick it in there, and then that is not going anywhere. So, just to show you what I did with the uh, tail vise, I recessed it in here so it's flush and uh, so it doesn't stick out any more than it has to. Um, but it. Um, Work pretty good. Works pretty good. Now for the vise on the other side, I'll go ahead and tell you this. You can see it's a pipe clamp type thing, and it's on that corner, and this is on this. They're on opposing corners. Jay did his, I think, just an opposing leg, and I thought about it, and because I'm right-handed and when I plane things, I go in this direction. So, um, and it doesn't matter what side of the table I'm on, I'm going to go in the same direction. So, that clamps on that side, this clamps on this side. So when I go in that direction, I've got room to move. Um, these are pipe clamps and they're mounted underneath in such a fashion so that um, I can just move them out when I need to move them out. This is a removable jaw. And if I've got a, a workpiece, all I have to do is this in here like that not going anywhere 
and um, ingenious, ingenious, and cheap. Okay, one thing you may be saying is that thing sure does rock a lot. Well, um, I've got a lot of crap on the floor, plus the floor is not really level. Um, so I don't know how bad it is yet. I don't think it's bad, though, because it should be dead perfect, but who knows. So, a wedge makes all the difference in the world. Um, so... I had everything that I needed to build this uh, as far as the accessories. I had the clamp or the vise. I had the clamps, pipe. Only thing I had to buy was the wood, so that was about $110. Um, I have way too much wood left over, so I could have I could have got by with about 85 or 90 probably. Maybe even less than that. Um, but it's a pretty good deal. The dimensions on it are 22 inches by five foot and it is, um, much smaller than my other one. My, my other one that I tore down was, uh, six foot by about 30 or 32 inches and it just took up an awful lot of space. Um, and, um. So anyway, I think this one will actually be better so I can move around. Um, it's eighth of an inch lower than my um, table saw. It's the same height as this, so I'll have good outfeed options. Um, so, there you go. Oh, and one other thing, um, after I fill all these little gaps with epoxy, um, then I'm going to sand her back down and um, soak it in uh, Danish oil, uh, not to make it pretty, just to protect it a little bit, but it's going to get beat up, and that's okay. Um, so, there you go, that's it.